but uh, nowadays what i'm seeing, seeing that uh, there's a i don't know if you are aware but that there's a maslow hierarchy of needs yes like there's you'll have to meet your basic need first and sp- unfortunately spirituality and everything like about mind mindset and everything is on the top so you will have to work a lot and get every need fulfilled then you will have time for that uh, we can say inner peace so how do you think that like because i have been on the same journey i'll have to like uh, it's very important to be physically secure and have their food and everything stuff like that and clothes and stuff like that but where's this where this stops like now i'm ready for uh, like spirituality or now i'm ready for inner peace so how do you like have you met people like this who are on the same journey i have met many people like this on the same journey i i was on the same journey too and mm-hmm. and i have to admit and this might be a radical perspective but i'm sure many people feel have the same idea which is i believe that we are we are controlled by a system that that um whose greatest purpose is to control us and it has commercial value it's big business you know yeah. masnos hierarchy of of that that pyramid like you say we have to mm-hmm. work through in order to get to spirituality but but ankit how about we consider that we're born spiritual because when we're born we don't have beliefs we have no limiting beliefs you look at a child a toddler they are part of life right they follow they follow a butterfly they go to a flower they play when they when they when they um they know what their needs are they don't label it with a word in their minds they know what they need and they go and get it or they find a way to fulfill that they may not have the physical ability but if they have parents or a caregiver they know that they need to ask for help and support so they're spiritual we are spiritual in the sense that we're in spirit we're being guided by the spirit within us the intuition within us we are a part of life we're responding to life and then what happens is we become more and more detached from this very natural state of living as part of life now with that hierarchy of needs and we're told oh we have to do this we're being given a to-do list of life yeah why it's because that buys into commercialism doesn't it mm-hmm. if i have that my needs met i need to get an education tick that box i need to then get a job tick that box and then within each of those categories there are other things that we need to do in order to achieve it mm-hmm. so we're always chasing life becomes a chase it becomes all about goal setting and going for those goals but act and that's everything that's outside of ourselves but if through practices of meditation and mindfulness for example and we strip away what we need outside of ourselves and come home to ourselves then all we have is inner peace everything above that is a bonus and a benefit now this is comes across probably as a very idealistic point of view but i just want to bring it home to this why are we why is inner peace why are we allowing ourselves to be told that inner peace can only be achieved after all these other things mm. isn't it our job isn't it our adventure to mm. discover what inner peace means for us and maybe flip it on its head and say you know what let me create inner peace now because the truth is ankit if you have inner peace you want for nothing yeah you're happy with life exactly the way it is mm-hmm. it doesn't mean you can't want for more what it means that is if you want for more and you don't get it it's okay because you can be at peace with what is so i'll, I'll kind of pause it there because you've taken me even me on a journey like thinking wow yeah i forgot about that 